Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. So today I wanted to show you an updated curly hair routine. I'm gonna be using products from The Curl Company today. They are one of my favorite UK based curly hair brands and you can find them online at Boots and in store as well. They're definitely some of the more affordable curly hair products that are available. None of the products are more than 10 pounds and they do quite often have sales on. Like right now they've got a third off. The Curl Company has so many products in their range. They're really taking care of us curly girls they have thought of everything and they have just covered all of the bases shampoo conditioner co lotion styling cream gel leave-in conditioner styling spray hold and body foaming mousse curl cream anti-humidity curl gel and the moringa styling oil ah! oh! All of their products are vegan, cruelty-free, they're made in England. It will specifically tell you if it's designed for waves, curls and coils like this one, or whether it's for curls and coils like this one, or whether it's for waves and curls like this one. They will have natural extracts, they're color kind, and a lot of them are silicone-free and sulfate-free as well. Everything in the range is formulated using their professional nourishing curl plex formula, which is a special blend of moringa oil and meadow foam seed oil, which is formulated to nourish and enhance your curls. So my hair has been looking a bit of a mess for the past few days. I've had to stick it into a sleek bun, which by the way, I'm kind of loving. I have all my hair in a high bun for a long time and I kind of forgot what my face looks like when I get that bun facelift. But it's time to wash my hair. It's time to let the curls back down. It's time to get those curls juicy, springing, nourished and moisturized again. So if you're ready and I'm ready, let's go. So this is my hair once it's down from that bun. As you can see, it's looking pretty dull, pretty lackluster. And I have been dealing with some flakes on my scalp as well. I'm not sure if you can see it. So I definitely want to target that with a good cleanse, first of all. So I'm stepping into the shower and I'm using lukewarm water. I'm just going to get my hair nice and soaking wet. And then I'm going to go in with my shampoo. So I am using the sulfate free shampoo from the curl company. It of course has their nourishing curl plex formula with that moringa oil and this is suitable for waves, curls and coils. So this is great for everyone. So this feels pretty nourishing but at the same time it gives me a really good lather that really helps me feel like I'm getting a good cleanse on my scalp. So I'm going to massage that in. I'm also going to use a scalp massager as well just to lift up any product buildup and lift up any flakiness really exfoliate my scalp and then once I feel like my hair is clean enough I'm going to rinse all of that shampoo out I'm going to grab my conditioner it is of course sulfate free and I'm going to apply this all over my hair my hair absolutely loves this stuff and I want it to soak right up so I'm actually going to squish it in a little bit before I start detangling it's kind of like the squish to condition method and it's great for parched hair. So once I've done that, I'm gonna just start to detangle. First of all, just a gentle finger detangling, just to make sure that I don't start too harshly with a comb or a brush. You can tell from my face that I hate detangling. I literally look like I want to cry. <laughs> it's not all bad guys. I've actually started washing my hair more often. So I find that I don't get as many tangles anymore. So the detangling process is actually a lot quicker. So once I'm done, finger detangling and then I'll go through my hair with a comb and once I can get a comb all the way through it I'll just finish things up with a brush I just feel like that's the most thorough way to detangle my hair I just love that feeling of a brush gliding through my hair it makes me feel like everything is right with the world again once my hair is you know fully detangled and it's conditioning I like to just leave that conditioner to sit for a little while longer so I will just wrap my hair up like this while I have a little shower boogie and just do everything else that I need to do in the shower like I'll cleanse my body, I'll shave, and then I will go ahead and rinse all of that conditioner out of my hair. And I actually didn't do this on a cold rinse. I find it really hard to do in the cold weather. So this is just another lukewarm rinse for my hair. And then I wrap it all up, prepare for styling. Okay guys, so now it's time for the styling. And like I said, they have so many amazing products in their range. I don't even know which one I'm gonna use right now. My go-to would usually be the curl lotion because this one is really specified towards waves and curls. And if you take a look at my hair pattern, my hair is mainly curls, but I would say that it's more on the wavy side of curly than the coily side of curly. So I think I'm gonna use this all through my hair and I'm gonna use some of the anti-humidity gel right on the ends of my hair just to make sure that the ends really stay nice and defined because sometimes I can get a little bit of frizziness on the ends just because they are a lot older and 
more delicate, the ends can be more prone to frizz. So I am gonna use some of that on the end. Something I know I definitely wanna use is the Moringa Styling Oil. So this is an amazing nourishing oil and it's gonna be really great at smoothing down my hair, making it nice and shiny and dealing with any frizz. So I definitely wanna use this at the end of my routine as well. I'm gonna use a little claw clip to help me section today. I'm gonna throw on the Coal Lotion. I absolutely love this stuff. I really feel like everything in this collection smells amazing. It's one of my favorite scents with um, curly hair products. You guys know I've tried a million different curly hair products and this one is just one that I always come back to. Like, do you guys know what Palmer Violets are? Cause that's kind of what this smells like. I used to love Palmer Violets, although they're kind of like chalk. I think my sister told me they were chalk and I believed her. I wouldn't be surprised if they are still. I still know for a fact that they're not chalk. <laughs> You guys, I have actually done a little bit of heat styling recently, so I am gonna apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner to the ends of my hair as well, because I can feel that those are a little bit dry, and I think maybe it's to do with the heat styling that I've been doing recently. Hopefully, it's not damaged, but this should really help me out. This is the curl-defining leave-in conditioner, by the way. That's the curl lotion. Just wanna make sure that's evenly applied. And then when I have kind of like these moisturizing light products on my hair, that's when I really wanna go in and do some like curl defining technique with my brush. I think I'm just gonna use my Tangle Teamer, Tangle Team, Tangle Teaser. Oh my God, how did I forget the name? I think I'm just gonna use my Tangle Teaser for this today. I'm so sorry, Tangle Teaser. I literally forgot your name for a second. Love you. I'd like to take kind of like a vertical section and brush it out like this if that makes sense because then when i like shake it out and everything it's kind of not all clumped together vertically it's kind of like it clumps together in its own sections all spaced apart i could just take this whole section and do it all up but then it kind of bunches together all of the hair in all of these different layers on my head and then that means that i'm gonna get tangles i feel like so i would rather keep everything on its own level and just you know brush it out like this kind of keeps everything separate i think it kind of works just as well as doing more layers like i could have separated my hair into more sections but i'm really gonna do like the exact same thing as this and this is just quicker so once I have the curl lotion on my hair and once it's brushed out a bit, I'm gonna go in with the anti-humidity curl gel and this is gonna hold my curls in place. So I definitely like to do this after I've defined my hair because it's got quite a strong hold. And if I tried to, you know, run a brush through it, run the demo and brush through it while it's got this on it, then my curls would have a hard time to like bounce back again. Like they'd get stretched out by the brush and the gel would just hold them in place and they wouldn't spring back up. That's kind of like how good this hold is. So you definitely only really wanna use this as a scrunching gel. Now I can take down the second section and do the same thing again. I'm gonna brush that through, make sure it's evenly applied. And now I'm gonna run my tangle teaser through my hair, not a tangle tamer. Then again with the anti humidity gel. So I have been using a little bit of heat styling tools on my hair lately and I have noticed that my hair is starting to feel a little bit dry and it has been prone to a little bit more frizziness. So I'm going in with the Moringa Styling Oil and I'm gonna put that all over the top of my hair and that's really gonna help me with flyaways and frizz and that dull look. I want my hair to look shiny and defined and not frizzy. So I'm gonna put that all over my hair. I'm still gonna keep scrunching it in. I'll smooth that into the top layers of my hair because that's really nourishing. All of my hair is gonna love it, not even just the end. Hi again, so my camera actually died so I didn't get to show you me finishing up this side. I did do things a little bit differently over on this side. So I started off with a very small amount of the leave-in conditioner, followed by quite a lot of the curl lotion, a small amount of the anti-humidity gel, and then the Moringa styling oil all over. So the main difference here is that the leave-in conditioner was the first thing on my hair on this side. Whereas on this side, I just used it around the ends and the areas that felt particularly dry after all of this heat styling that I've been doing. So like I said, I have been doing a lot of heat styling. So I'm a little bit cautious about using the diffuser today. So I think I'm actually just gonna try and air dry for as long as I can. I'm so not used to air drying though. I've been totally spoiled with my diffuser. I use it all the time now but i'm just gonna help things along a little bit just by scrunching out some of the excess water onto a microfiber towel 
I'm just taking extra special care not to cause any frizz when I do this. Just scrunching in a very controlled manner. <laughs> it's looking good at this point. I'm hoping that we're gonna have some really nice definition. At this point, my hair is feeling nice and moisturized. I definitely feel like I'm gonna fix those issues of dryness that I had. So I am just gonna go away and dry this and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay guys, I'm back and my hair is mostly dry and there's just a few things that I wanna do. I do just want to pick my hair a little bit because I love to have that little bit of extra volume. So I like to kind of just tip my head upside down, have a shuffle around of the roots with this hair pick. And I also just wanna go and separate some of the clumped up curls on this side as well. And just for the last step, I'm gonna apply some more of the Moringa Styling Oil. So I just absolutely love this stuff and I definitely feel like my hair could do with the added shine. So I'm just gonna sweep this all through my hair and that's just gonna help lock in moisture until my next wash until i next moisturize my hair it's gonna help my hair to look shiny it's gonna help that frizz to stay away and you remember how i said that the curl company has a huge range well they also have this product it's called their shape and define styling cream gel this is designed to smooth and hydrate curls whilst adding style hold it's for curls and coils it's got really strong hold and i actually like to use this for my edges sometimes also kind of use it for my eyebrows sometimes. Just gonna really lightly just smooth down my edges. So for me, this is a great routine to do weekly. So kind of week in, week out, just a normal routine, just to get my curls nourished and healthy and looking great for the week ahead. As you can see, it looks super shiny, it's super defined. And I'm just so happy because I know that it's so well taken care of and nourished. And then in the mornings, if I feel like my hair just needs a little bit of, a little bit of help in the mornings, you know, a bit of a refresh, then I will just spray some water and I'll go in with the Moringa oil again, because this is really good on dry hair as well. This will also help to define your hair, to smooth any frizz and to nourish your hair, even when you apply it on dry hair. So that's kind of what I've been doing and it's been working really well. If you liked this video, please thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your notifications to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Subscribing is not enough on YouTube these days. You need that notification bell on as well. I've linked all of these products that I used in the description box down below. Remember you can get them on Boots Online and Boots in store as well. So yeah, have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.